Okay, we're glad to be back here with you and knowing that you're there and watching us. We have NLCTUC as spoiling for a fight on the 3rd of October 2023. That is uh, two days after the uh, Independence Day celebration. So we'll celebrate that and then the very next day we have this strike. But we have Comrade Ismail uh, Adejumo, Chairman of Ratau Lagos and PRO of NLC Lagos joining us. Good morning and welcome uh, to the program, Comrade. Good morning. Uh... I am Nyamgul. Okay. okay. Uh, good. Um, so NLC TUC is going on strike. I understand there's going to be a public holiday on Monday. It's the usual case. Um, the Independence Day is 1st of October. The 2nd is a public holiday or it should be a public holiday. And on the 3rd, the workers go on strike. And the federal government is saying that the meeting, there should be a meeting on that Tuesday. I'd like to have your general comments on uh, what is coming. Thank, thank you very much. The Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress, the two labor centers in Nigeria, have already met at a separate uh, next session of the two labor centers to dissect and analyze uh, the situation of uh, this current uh, administration. This has been earlier made to the, by the government to come up with a uh, and uh, other things um, to see the effect of the subsidy removal. After a series of meetings, and dialogue on the time frame of the election, and nothing was to ever come. So it builds on the two uh, to meet again and uh, analyze, and that was the first two days. One is was embarked by only NLC when the TUC has not really this that they still need for to give government more time. After all has been done, yet we are still on the same. The government is still is marauding, trying to uh, deceive the labor leaders. So after a careful study of all this, the two labor centers have to come to and issue a community that by after the experience one day, ultimatum given to you to kickstart the implementation of the uh, palliatives and other effects, uh, questioning measures, uh, the subsidy removal, the, the union, the labor center in Nigeria, we have no option that to act on indefinite time, starting from 00 on the 4th of October 2022, to drive home our demand. Mm. At this moment, None of the demands put before the government has been addressed, and it, is, and it is very worrisome. You see the, the, the economic hardship, widespread hardship, due to the cost of living, occasioned by the number of these subsidies, adequate food value. The toxic situation is not allowing Nigeria to breathe. Therefore, we have to raise and set the ball rolling and shut down the economy on October 23. Inshallah, God willing. Okay. Um... Except that intervention, intervention in each time frame that will bring one into all these problems, fight can be averted. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. That is the future of the labor Yes, um, but the last Thank time, you. even even at the time when it was uh, a warning strike, uh, I know that TUC did not participate, but even NLC had to uh, be forcing some people out of offices, especially in the in the in the southwest here, uh, where some of us are as well. It didn't really show that there was synergy. There was there was uh, a cooperation coming from states in the southwest. Uh, NLC in the Southwest, that, that's what I mean. Are we sure that it is going to be 
uh, one voice that NLC and TUC will, will speak on the 3rd of October because some states did not even join as much as they should join, so we didn't really feel uh, that NLC uh, had gone on strike. Will that be the situation now, or are there some things that needed to be addressed then that have been addressed now? Uh, thank you very much. There is, a, there is always a synergy between the two labor centers in Nigeria, except with a pe peculiar situation that will warrant us to differ. On the issue of what is right, the, the Nigerian Labor Congress differ with the fans of the GUP. And that was the reason why not join the strike. But I will take a careful study of the stand of government. This has been the presentation of purpose in implementing the uh, promise and uh, agreement reached earlier. The FTUC have no option and to agree with the NLC to aggressively mobilize all our athletes. I'm not, I'm, and not even get I'm not even them concerned. Ready. I'm not even concerned about the, the TUC. I'm not even in concerned that about way, the Sorry, uh in that com way, yeah. Substantially comply. No, because it was a warning strike. It was this that uh, probably was after the last count when the, the direct came all affiliates of mine and you can see from your report here in Lagos where we have life substantially we saw that uh I comply with the directive of the parent body so on this coming uh strike the third of uh, October we have been already we have been mobilizing and we are consulting the group of a very workable implementation framework that will bring about the success of the site across the two labor centers. So that is the position of for now. And uh, there is no any division whatsoever. I can assure you it's a disagreement and uh, because the labor will disagree to agree. Even though we are negotiating with government, we agree on some terms and we agree on some so our door is still very open. At the national level, as you have said earlier, the government is mindful of the, the consequence of granting the economy to this type of action. And I believe it has been quickly uh, a perfect time for the day to make sure that there are at least labor leaders to avoid this strike. Okay. Anything short of that, anything short of that, is too that. Okay, I, I just want to know the stand of uh, the labor unions, uh, the, the TUC and NLC, as regards um, the implementation of these demands that you're making. The, the other time, there was a time uh, recently where labor was thre threatening a strike. They wanted to go on strike, and then they had a meeting with the presidency. And they came out and told us that, okay, everything is well. They, they have been promised that they were going to uh, do something about it. So they called off the strike. It was one of those times where we even had reports that one of the, the th reasons they gave, uh, I think they were, they, they were talking about the fact that the president even told them that he too is going through hardship and is now staying in uh, a two-bedroom flat. And everybody was laughing. But bottom line is that they had a meeting and they called off the strike and nobody even understood what was happening now we are here again because that strike didn't hold the believed now what if on the 1st of October the president makes some pronouncements regarding uh, these demands that you are making are you going to call off the strike or you'll still go ahead with the strike until the demands are actually implemented thank you very much uh, always and at this moment um, the labor movement in Nigeria has very stable and dynamic uh, set of people. That's how they all organize labor. We consider so many factors before we take decisions, especially 
when it requires us to explore the last resort, which is the right action. It is when negotiation fails, and that does not work that we are back to try. We will give benefit of that to the government. Based on the promises we have made, and this has been implementation time frame. There are a lot of promises that have been uh, at least fulfilled at this moment. Based on this, other uh, challenges for the river. But after careful study and observation of the situation, we found that it was an authority on the part of the government. In implementing these uh, policies based on the time scale. Uh, workers are suffering and dying every day from the excruciating poverty. Uh, the cost of living at the, at the reach of common man, the, the working class. So, therefore, we are very reasonable and considerable set of uh, 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 workers. To give government the opportunity to be open and be prepared in implementing all this uh, program in the interest of all Nigerians, even for the working class and the non-working class, because labor movement is the world of the world. So, based on this, that is why the strike for all of that time. But now, having observed that there is nothing for so much hope. To the effect of the promise, then we have to return in order not to uh, at least lose our credibility and integrity before 19. We have owned in uh, we are standing to the mandate to represent within the previous uh, union that uh, the government is going up like this. So, so, therefore, the leadership has to be unanimous. Like There's nothing whatsoever to this go on the strike. And we have said the full work. If the government call us, definitely with genuine reason and uh, 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 assurance of quick implementation of all these uh, programs that we push to the of this but then we have no option that to draw. That is the thinking of the people, the, the, the leadership. So, it's clear for the government to see how they will go about this issue and make sure that there is an amicable resolution. We don't want to embark on strike. That is the last reason of our our fighting strength. Uh, but we have we will remember we will start with the uh, protest line mm. where we submitted our charter demand. All over uh, two days. After the two day warning, and the two day days of solution, based on the promise and uh, an agreement, after the explanation of the, the one day uh, ultimatum, what do you want us to do? And to go by the last result. Push tight. So, the government believes that it is waiting for us not to go on this side. They have to call us and dialogue with our leaders, support directors, and everybody will go back to the number. Okay, uh, well, so uh, definitely the president will say something about labor tomorrow. At least we are expecting him to say something about labor and uh, say some things about the demands that you have made. Maybe the implementation of minimum wage or the raising of salaries and all that and all that. Do you have comfortable timelines that you... Uh, you are giving the government because if it comes, you can't say everything will be will be addressed that day, and you go back and say, okay, we are not doing the strike anymore. Do you have comfortable timelines that if the president accepts, you are going to call up the strike? For instance, if the president comes and says that, okay, in six months' time, I will I will begin to pay the new minimum wage. Will you be comfortable with that? Or you have your own timeline and you're saying, okay, within two weeks, if you are not able to do that, we'll still go on strike. What are these timelines uh, for NLC? Uh, thank you very much. I earlier on, I mentioned that uh, the implementation framework has been the time frame very, very critical. I think. Because 
Prior to when was announced, we thought that by June, and as June last this year, I was when oxygen regime is over. But as of 29th of May, when we first was operated, we announced that oxygen is gone. So, and we were where we are, and everybody was facing the consequence of the hike in the pump price of a I skyrocketed the price of everything. Are you getting my point now? So, yeah. The reason why we are conscious of time to is that the minimum we reduce statutorily is due next year, which is 2024. But the labor is demanding for a palliative, even a palliative and pay award between June to December this year. So pushing the effect of the oxygen remover. That is my point now. Among other demands, that government has promised that by December, the potential revenue will come upstream. It will reduce the pressure on the price of petroleum products. And we are also hoping that the Yamputa Refinery and Commission will also come upstream. So the demand for exporting uh, uh, our products and importing it pressure on the price of uh, on the dollar on the exchange rate will reduce because we're able to produce locally and use our currency these are what the label that's all called the short term the medium term and the long term in the framework which the government have a uh, of putting the that is a that is a implementation committee in place but they are not working according to the time by the labor leader. So people are suffering, they are demanding, they are agitated, and no when workers are agitated, it's very dangerous. Mm. At a point where they cannot survive, people cannot come. The minimum wage cannot take them to get has been eroded by inflation. So most people now can hardly go to the times a week. So where do we go from here? Where that do we why go from it here? Okay. Where do we so go from here? Of, yeah, where do we go then from here? Go ahead. Yeah, just a final word if you are if you're doing it. Just wrap it up. Do you get my point now? Yeah, wrap it up with whatever you want to say now. Eh? I thought you wanted to say another thing, and I was saying you should wrap it up because the time has really gone. Um, hey, yes. Just a final but word. Additionally, the wage control benefit should be provided for wage workers without further delay. Mm. It should show political, economic environment in Nigeria is such that there is no gain saying that the cutting cost of governance is no longer an option. What an imperative. So, based on this, governance is no longer an option. So, it is again this that we want the government to at least talk to the age of Nigerians, both the working class and the new working class, and do something urgently to affect the situation. People are dying. People are, uh, are what is abject poverty. Okay. Uh, so, well. That is the reason of this. Now we are feeling, we are feeling, and we are feeling the economy. We know the economy has been battered before this administration through a lot of bad, uh, bad, a lot of debt accumulated. The economy, which is keeping us uh, move at the very slow. Okay. That has been made. The is very clear. Okay. Ah uh, well. Conscious. We we, we wish we wish labor we wish labor good luck we wish you well uh we, labor should know that the people are fast losing confidence in labor because it seems as if you go there and they just talk to you and popular opinion is that people collect a lot of money and then they just uh, jettison the the strike or the demands that they've been making for the common man. So you you better know this also when you're doing it. And we're wishing you luck uh, that it will bring 
the desired results that you I, want I, for I yourself. You. Yeah. You. Uh, whatever I people know. feel, but you have to know that this is how people feel. Because if you keep saying, we are going to do this or not. And you stop fair enough you know, on the part of the person. Okay, so let's... let's yeah. Okay. Then give you some of the... Okay. Okay. Yeah, we understand, we understand. We just wish you luck in this very one that you succeed. That's all I'm saying. And we'd like to thank you. We, yeah, we'd like to thank you, Comrade Ismail Adejumo, uh, for coming on the program and ensuring or, or, or boosting our confidence that labor is going to do the right thing and we all are going to be better for it. Thank you so much for being a part of our program this morning. Okay. Yeah. That was Comrade Ismail uh, Adejumo, Chairman Ratawu Lagos, and also the PRO of NLC here in Lagos, telling us that it is definite that the uh, strike will happen. And uh, also that the doors are still open. There is a, an, a, an open window. If between now and then, the government can set acceptable timelines and the negotiation will be taken more seriously they may just call off the strike whatever it is we want a better nigeria and that's what we are praying for we do not want a situation where we'll always re it will always result in strike but if that is what is going to happen well may nigeria survive it and may nigeria be better for it that's the size of our package this morning and we're thanking you for being a part of it on behalf of the entire family of the breakfast on plus tv my name is nyamgul agaji thanks for being there and up next is our news brief stay with us